Hello everyone, this is Darwolf20, and welcome to episode 65 of Darwolf20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series, uh, where today the plan is to launch a satellite into orbit. Uh, that's at least the plan. We're going to see uh, how doable that is. But I think at this point it should be reasonably attainable. Um, so we need a space station assembler, which is used, um, as you might have guessed, to assemble space stations. Who to thunk? Uh, you're going to need the same setup as for building rockets. The only difference being that space stations don't need fuel, and when they're built, they compress into item form. Uh, the item then needs to be launched into space with a rocket uh, with a satellite bay. The rocket will be lost unless you give it a guidance computer with the space station ID chip in it, in which case it'll land on the newly made space station. Uh, you can travel there by making a rocket and placing the space station ID chip in the guidance computer. Make sure you always have backups of ID computer chips. So we're going to totally need the space station assembler, right? So let's get one of those and figure out how it works. Um, so it looks like we're going to need some dilithium dust. Huzzah! So where are we going to, how are we going to, what do we do with uh, dilithium? Um... So we can totally just pulverize it up in any standard crusher or manufactory or anything else like that. What are our other options for dilithium is the question. Do we like process it in, in, in mechanism machines at all? One would hope maybe? Doesn't look like it. It looks like we can, we can break it into dust, right? Um, right, that's, that's what we're looking at here. And that's about it. Uh, and then the dust in the crystallizer makes dilithium crystals. Got it. All right, so we're going to basically want to... Uh, how do we want to do with this? I mean, I can throw it in the extra utilities crusher, in the manufacturing, in the sag mill, in the alloy smelter. Pretty much all the crushers except the mechanism crusher. You know, the one that I've got hooked up to automation uh, are good to go. So I guess we'll have to do the manufactory one, uh, which, is, which, which we do have hooked up. Right, so uh, dilithium dust. We're gonna do the thing with the stuff in the manufactory, right? So we're gonna just add that recipe there. And then you can go down to the manufactory, which is this guy. So let's get like a bunch of dilithium dust, right? I don't know how much we're gonna need, but we're gonna find it out. And then the other thing we need for space station is two titanium gears and a rocket assembly machine. Uh, so we're going to need another one of those, right? So that's two control circuits. So I need four titanium gears and two titanium rods and a user interface. Right? So you guys and you guys. Um, and that should be pretty darn close to what we need for the space station assembler. Uh, that's right, basic circuits. We need the, the green circuits, two of those bad boys, please. All the stamping, all the automation. Dude, imagine having to make that by hand. Oh. Gotta say, gotta say, loving, loving having a fully automated base, right? That's, it's 100% worth it to just, to just, to just spend the time to, to automate all the things, right? To make everything up and running. Oh, so good. So we want the space station assembler. Uh, so the only thing we need are waiting on is uh, two more gears, which I thought I made enough of you guys. There we go. Space station assembler, huzzah! Now, um, it says that it works the same. So do I like put that in place of my rocket assembly machine? That might be the case, right? And I think what I can do, nothing here, that's correct. You are correct, sir. You are 100% correct. Um, let's get, why don't I have a personal chest on me? I don't know why that exists, but we're putting it away for now, along with the moon turf. Um, let's get those chiseled laboratory blocks, right? I'm thinking we do something just as simple as that, right? Because what's gonna happen is, um, the space station assembler will combine this structure into an item that will get launched into space and then unpacked in what's essentially a void dimension, right? So by placing this 5x5 platform here, um, we, we, we will get a 5x5 platform in space, and then once we have that, uh, we can go ahead and, and replace it and do things, right? Now might also be a really good time, really good time, really, really, really good time 
to get a jetpack. Um, because and I'm and, I, and and this is this is important. This is important, right? Uh, jetpack would be good to have. Don't I have the Thomcraft lamp? What did, I, what did I do with the lamp? I, I thought I would have put it away. Uh, arcane lamp. Oh yeah, there it is. Sweet. Uh, now might be a really nice time. Wrong sigil. Can I make the land? Oh yeah, stuck the landing. What's up? 10 out of 10, direwolf 20. Um, to get a jetpack, because we're going to be playing around in a void dimension, and flight is probably really nice to have right now. Um, so to be fair, right, the best case would be to have an angel ring. Uh, however, an angel ring looks a little bit expensive to me. Uh, we're going to need to definitely kill uh, a wither, and we're going to have to definitely get an elytra, which don't look too bad recipe-wise, to be fair. Don't look too bad. Like, am I missing something, or is that, like, really easy to get an elytra? What is up with that? That seems super easy. I feel, I feel like, I feel like there's, like, a, a sneaky recipe that's going to jump out at me. Um... But, but the Dragon's Breath and, and the Nether Star, right, those things are going to be the tricky part of getting an Angel Ring. But once we have one, it could be cool, right? And is, is, is the Angel Ring recipe in here, the baubles, in, or, or the, whatever it is, that other Angel Ring recipe thing? I don't think so. There's, there's some mod that adds an Angel Ring recipe where you can just put two watermills craft with it, and it basically makes it free to use, but I don't see that in here. I think it was in Stone Block. I'm not sure which mod adds that, but neat stuff. So what we want then is a jetpack, right? Um, we did see that that was disabled, though, wasn't it? Oh, no, wait, there it is, Advanced Rocketry Jetpack. Oh, it has a jet space pack. I searched for jetpack without a space. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Um, so to make these, we need some fire charges, right? Uh, what don't I have for a fire charge? Blaze Rod? Fire charge? That doesn't look too terrible. So we need a steel plate. And any kind of pressure tank, it looks like. So, I mean, might as well get the low one, right? So, that's two iron sheets. So, let's get uh, an iron plate for that and a steel plate for the craft, right? And um, what I will probably need is another couple of aluminum sheets and then the plates uh you and you right so i've yet to do any kind of like auto crafting with this system though i should i very much should i don't like how this has two output hatches on it it's weird to me it makes me think like am i gonna be in a situation at some point where it goes into one versus the other I feel like it's put in the middle, that's weird. It does take longer to craft the higher tanks though. So here's what we're thinking, right? You, you, you. So there's your jetpack, right? Which I should be able to insert into my spacesuit. And then we're gonna have the high pressure tank here. Now this has oxygen, this one's empty. So what we want is another gas charge pad, which you would think doesn't sound too bad, but it's more than you think, right? Gas charge pad. We're also going to need a user interface and a weighted pressure plate. Cool. So we're going to want, come on, buddy, make your steel. These are steel plates, yes. That, 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 that. Nice. All right. Um, how's this bad boy doing over here? Okay, so what we're going to want... I probably want you to be the other type of conduiting now, right? Because it's going to work just like 
the other dude, right? So you, you, and you. So you're going to be extract on green. You're going to be insert on green, extract on brown. You're going to be insert on green, never extract, but a lower priority, which I don't know if this is working, by the way, but we're going to find out, right? Um, and then you will be insert on brown, right? So you, which is extracting on brown, should be always active, and you, who's extracting, so you should be losing a little bit of hydrogen, and you've got some, nice. And you should be extract always active mode. Cool. So now, if I stand on this dude, what's up? I like it. Um, you have hydrogen in you. Sweet. And you have a jet pack, and you have oxygen, and you have oxygen, right? Cool. I like it. So now we have to figure out how to turn those on, right? Uh, I think there's controls for that. Advanced rocketry. Toggle jetpack. Sweet. Now the other thing we need to make though, uh, what are the chances you could be something? Wow, an H is available? Nice. All right, cool. So you don't have a hover mode unless I put a hover, there's a hover something, hover boots, no. There's some kind of rocketry upgrade for the helmet that enables hovering, unless it's been disabled. Or scanner, solar panels. I thought there was something called hover. Look at all these components. Bionic leg upgrades make you run faster, which is cool. Anti-fog bowsers are nice. Basic laser gun, you say. Uh, I'm not seeing the hover dude. I wonder if that's been disabled. There it is. I found it. I found it. Hover upgrade. Uh, so I need a control circuit and a basic circuit, please. Basic circuit and a control circuit. And then redstone torch and redstone. All the auto crafting. So you guys over here. You're making your thing. Good job. Input hatch. Doot, 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 doot. That should be cool. Hey, look at that. It's making the thing. Woohoo. Hover upgrade. Now that goes in the helmet, I believe. Sweet. Now, one thing I'd love to do is get rid of this up here. Let's check advanced rocketry. Move rockets, open rocket GUI is delete. Rocket left and right. Toggle RCS. I don't know what that means, but we're going to assign it to a hotkey and find out. That is not what I hoped it would mean. All right, so how do I turn on hover mode then? Uh, so. Shift and toggle jetpack key. There we go. That's hover mode. Sweet. Look at that. I'm hovering. Now that uses hydrogen. Uh, and it's pretty slow. I like hover mode. I like that. Um, but hover mode, uh, 10 out of 10, definitely enjoy hover mode. That's the way I like to fly. It's it's more of a creative flight option than not, right? Um, so we are gonna have to pop over here and get some oxygen and hydrogen refills every now and then, um, but we should be good for a little bit. I'd really like to hide that UI. I wonder how I could do that. All right, so the next thing we need to make uh, is a satellite play. Looks like just some titanium rods times four. Sure, yeah, that works. Uh, and then we're gonna need an ID chip. We need a satellite ID chip, which is just a basic circuit. That one's easy, at least. Huzzah! Working on it. 
doing the thing. Uh, so these two things will go into this block here that we just placed down, right? So I just need one satellite ID chip, um, and then we need a satellite bay, okay? This and this, right? And then we scan, missing chip, no you're not. There's one right there. There's one right there. Um, missing chip. Oh, wait a second. It's a satellite bay and not a satellite chip, but a space station ID chip. Cool. So a space station ID chip. Uh, so we need another linker. And then that. Okay. Now are you cool? Scan. Huzzah! So basically what's going to happen... Yeah, quest complete. What's up? How's it going? Thank you. Nice. Uh, so what's going to happen is when we're ready to build this, which is now, um, it's going to package this item uh, into a block, I believe. Right? Into this block, I believe. Let's see. If we hit build... See, look, it used up those two items. It's doing the building process. Cool. And we got our space station container and our station ID chip for station one. Nice. Now, how do I duplicate that? Because I feel like there's a way to duplicate that. Um, I feel like that's the case. So like, you and you. Can I like combine you guys or something? I feel like there's a way to come to duplicate that. All right, so I think what we need to do here, and I'm trying to, I'm not sure if the quests tell me this, right? Um, yeah, so you say to do the space station, needs to launch. Make sure to always have backups of your space station ID chip. Yes. Yes, that's what I think we need to do. Uh, you don't lose your space station once it has been set in your space station. If you lose the chip and don't have any other means of transfer to the space station, it's lost. Luckily, it can be copied in the satellite builder block. That's what I'm working on. Yay. Uh, so basic U. And here's our input hatch, which should be stamping it up, right? And we need a titanium plate. And then satellite builder, super close. Just need that titanium plate. Booyah, booyah, that's what's up. Hey, yeah, satellite builder, quest complete. All oh, right, you need, uh, I think you need an input, an input uh, hatch underneath you. Input plug, input plug. I'm gonna make sure to clear this out because I don't know how many structure blocks we have and if I can avoid having to craft one because that takes a really long time. That would be cool. That would be great. Um, who wants to give me like a little bit of power here? Would that be too much to ask? Oh, I do have conduits on me. I was gonna say, what do you mean I'm out of conduits? There's no way. All right, plug. Check. There you are. Sweet. So I should be able to um, do this. Uh, and this. Right to secondary chip. I have no idea what most of this stuff does, but hey, look, another station ID chip one. Nice. All right. Sweet. So uh, another linker, please, because I want to make sure we basically always have a backup of this, right? So I'm going to put you in here and you in here and copy it again. So we have now three copies of the station ID chip, because here's how it works. First, we're going to launch the uh, station into orbit, right? Second we're gonna go up to that station on a rocket, right? So the first one that launches it needs an IG chip. The second one that we're gonna ride up there, our own rocket, also needs a station ID chip, okay? And then the third one is gonna go into the refined storage system to be reserved in case we ever need to go back there again. So what I'm gonna do once we get up there is put a, 
uh, RF tools receiver so we can teleport there, right? Uh, so we're gonna want like RF tools power cell and we're gonna want RF tools this and we're going to want a receiver uh, and all that good stuff, right? So while that's cooking, that's the gist, right? So now let's get ready to launch this into orbit. So the space station that we made is contained within this block right here. And now we gotta launch it into orbit and it'll unfold up there. And behind the scenes, what's really happening is it's basically creating a dimension uh, and placing those five by five area there. Cool, so let's get ready for that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is make another guidance computer because we're basically gonna build another rocket. Just like last episode where we built a rocket to go to the moon, we're now gonna build a rocket, not for us to ride, at least not yet, uh, but to send the station up, right? To send the station up. So we're gonna so we're gonna build a guidance computer and like the most basic rocket we can possibly imagine uh, and hopefully get very simple uh, flight to get it unlocked. All right, so essentially what we're looking for, right? As simple as we can make it. Um, let's do, all right, not that simple, not stone, right? And then we want the space station assembly, no, not you, the guidance computer. And the space station container. I thought, I thought that gets placed as a block. Maybe it goes, Okay, I was close. We need a satellite bay, another one of those, to go there, and the space station container goes in it. And then let's scan and see if we have enough thrust and fuel. Right? Not enough fuel capacity. Not a problem. We'll just take this down. And do that. Okay? And then guidance computer. And you go in and scan. Right, so we just doubled our fuel capacity, essentially. And if we need more, we'll get more. Not enough fuel capacity. Okay, so let's do this then. You ready? I'm gonna do that and get two more tanks. I added them to the auto craft list because we were crafting them frequently enough. Right, so make steel, make plates, make rods, do the thing. One, two. Cool, and scam. Now this rocket can either be lost or sent to the station, but I'm gonna let it get lost because I'm gonna make another rocket then I'm gonna fly to the station. No reason to send a, a rocket to the station uh, that we're not gonna be able to get to. Cleared for liftoff, sweet. So I'm gonna build you, right? And Do I need a seat on you or something? Oh, it does need a seat. It does need a seat. Can I unbuild you? Can I unbuild you, Entity Rocket? All right, guys, I figured it out. Uh, you can shift right click with an empty hand and there's a disassemble button. Oh, look, it turned it back into blocks. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so we totally need a seat, right? Uh, which is easy enough to get ourselves. And I'm just gonna pop that dude right there. All right, and then we can scan it again. And not enough fuel capacity. Are you kidding me that that seat just pushed us over the edge? Are you kidding me right now? I think that that seat just pushed us over the edge <laughs> with regards to how much fuel capacity we have because that's that's the world we live in right now. That is 100% what's up. All right, so let's break the seat. Pop a new one down. And don't give me any not enough thrust. I'm gonna be really upset with you. Got it? Cleared for liftoff, thank you. So what I'm gonna do is, um, in here we've got the space station container. In here, I'm gonna put my space station ID chip, right? And we're gonna do build. Um, I don't think I had to put that in there before we build it, but I don't think it hurts either, I hope. 
Because when you shift right click this guy, now that he's an entity, so you can see it's entity.rocket.name up on the top, uh, we can click on our guidance computer and see that that space station ID chip is there, right? Um, so the only other thing to do is get our linking tool. And that to that, right? So then you should be filling up with fuel, I would think. Yeah, see, look, this tank is emptying with fuel which means that you are getting fuel. See it on the bottom left? Huzzah! Okay, nice. Destination, station one. So I think, you know what? I think I can, can I ride the rocket to the station as it unbuilds? I have the impression that it would like deploy it. Let's see, hang on. Um, so launching the station, I'm on the, I'm on the advanced rocketry wiki. Um, to launch the station at orbit, the station must be placed on a rocket into a satellite bay. If a guidance computer with a copy of the station IGF is placed on the rocket, the rocket will land on the station after inserting it into orbit. Otherwise, the rocket itself will be lost. Oh! In addition, it is possible for the player to fly to the station upon first launch. Uh, in order to do this, the rocket must have the satellite bay with the station container inside. Uh, that's this. Uh, a guidance computer with a copy of the station ID chip. That would be this. Um, and a seat. Got it. Cool. So if I ride the seat, I should be good to go and I'll land on the station. How cool does that sound? So what I'm going to do is bring my RF tool stuff, right? So we'll bring our power cell. I'm going to link my power card and we're going to want, uh, the receiver. Yes. Let's go link our power card here. And this means I should ride the rocket to the satellite as it gets built. How cool does that sound, right? So worst case, I have another backup of the station ID chip. Cool, right? Uh, which I'm gonna keep in there. And so if, if for some reason I can't get back to the station, I should be able to just build another rocket and launch it up there. Does that sound cool? So you're good, you're good, you're good. I think we're good to launch. Should we do it? I'm gonna say yes, we should do it. So confirming we have everything we need, right? We have a little bit more laboratory blocks, right? Let's. Let's get a few more of those. Um, I think I've got my building gadget so we can expand that as needed. Could I get more and more of those? I'm just gonna get off here so I can do all my, all my stuffs. Right, cause that's what everything was, was fuzzy screen, right? Actually I might want screen. Does this thing break? Is that what happens when I... Probably. He's getting real low. It's alright. He's easy enough to remake. Alright. So, we have the materials to expand the station. We have um, gadgets to expand the station with. Uh, might want some glass. Mana glass sounds like a nice thing to bring. Can I bring like a few stacks of mana glass? Why don't we do that too? I wasn't planning to build the station right now, but I'm suddenly deciding I kind of want to have at least something. Uh, so you, you. Give me all the mana glass. And away we go. And I should be able to, woo. Hey, flight, look at that, loving it. <laughs> all right, cool. Right, so what else? We've got some laboratory screens, we've got some mana glass, we've got the power cell card that we can link, we've got conduits. We've got a receiver. Uh, we've got the charge porter. Uh, I think I'm cool. I think the only other thing I might want to do, I, I just want to real quick, not destination analyzer, dialing device is the thing I want to teach you. And I wouldn't mind you learning a matter transmitter as well, because we're gonna want We're gonna want a matter transmitter on the station as well, right? So give me a couple dialing devices. Give me a couple transmitters. And that'll work for me so that we're ready to go into space. When I, What I'll do is I will place the receiver there so we can teleport up to the station. I'll use my charged porter to get home. I'll get my matter transmitter, which should be crafted by then. Um, and then we'll be ready to, to bring it back to the station, right? So let's launch. So just to confirm, we've got our guidance computer, 
with space station ID one. Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. Shall we do it? Press space to take off. In, the in theory, this should create, oh yeah. Launching in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booyah, it's going time. I hope I didn't forget anything. Bring your towels. This is gonna be dangerous. So in theory, what this should do is create a space station in orbit around planet Minecraftia, right? Uh, with the rocket that I'm on now, landed in the very center of the 5x5 platform that I created, right? I've got a jetpack so I can fly. I've got my building gadget so I can extend said platform. Uh, and I brought some glass to make it look nice. We'll get a matter receiver going and we should be cool. So we are, we are taking off, dudes. How cool is that? I, I geek out on this mod, dude. I really like it. It's fun. It's so cool. Just the concept, right? Like, I'm building a space station. It's so neat. And technically, oh look, there we go. Press space to descend. And we're descending. So look, we're in we're in orbit. Look at that. Look at that. Orbit. And we should be landing any moment now. Uh, so the altitude is the world maybe generating or something, right? So eventually that altitude thing will stop futzing. There it goes, it's behaving now. Um, and there should just be a five by five platform of laboratory blocks underneath this dude. Go laboratory blocks, go. All right, slowing down with the fire and all the good stuff. Velocity's coming in hot. Kind of hard to see the platform. Oh, hello. There we go. We can see it. We can just barely see it. Look, there's my space station. <gasps> it worked. It worked. All right. How cool is that? I like it. So what I'm going to do is pop one of these on each outer edge of the platform, and then we can gadget our way to a better base. Now in my Age of Engineering series, I built a whole base on the space station. Do I wanna do that again? I'm not sure, I haven't made a decision, right? Um, if I did that, it would be a brand new base and we'd move everything up here. I don't know if that's what I want though. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now and think about it, right? But for now, we basically want, um, uh, a horizontal wall. Let's make it a range of nine because that's a magic number for us, right? Or maybe let's just make it like plenty. We'll make it 11 for now, right? So I'm gonna do you, 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 and you, right? Um, and then we can fix the corners by doing something like that. See how handy that is? Welcome to the Dire Promotes' his own mod series. With your guest, Dire Wolf 20. Ta-da! That's kind of cool. Though to be fair, I think I did like the, fu the, the fuzzy screen a little bit better, Logan. Uh, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we've got a space station. Huzzah! We should build like, so we can build like oxygenation. We can, we can do gravity. Uh, but in order for oxygen to work, it needs to be contained within an area, right? So we need like actual walls and a roof. We can't just oxygenate a bubble, as far as I know. Uh, but what we definitely want to get going here, right? We're going to do some advanced trickery, vertical wall, vertical column. Do, 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 do. Size of three, right there. Look at that. Uh, and then we can do a power cell with this dude. He's got power now. Oh, hello, matter receiver. That was supposed to be not like that-ish. All right, and we're gonna call you station. But let's not forget to make you output on all sides. Let's name you space station. Okay, uh, so then we should be able to relatively easily just teleport right back up here, right? 
Uh, do we need to chunk load this? I'm thinking we don't need to chunk load it. Yeah, we shouldn't need to chunk load it. I'll claim it, but I don't think we need to chunk load it. Shouldn't need to be chunk loaded to be able to be teleported to. He says with relative certainty. Uh, how's that transmitter? Good, we got three of them. And how's the uh, dialing device? Good. So then we should be able to go right back to the rocketry room and dial up the space station now. So Earth rocket base to space station, dial, go. Nice. Now we have a way to and from the space station. How cool is that? I love it. Loving it. Um, if we wanted to, right, we could set up you and the matter transmitter here. Space station. Uh, and the dialing device, we'll just pop right here for now. He needs power too, don't forget. Dialing devices need power too. Now, technically I do have, you know, a jetpack, which I should be able to turn on. Jetpack, this is the part where you uh, work. Uh, hey, jetpack. What, what are you doing, Jetpack? You are a little bit crazy. I'm trying to figure out how the Jetpack works and I am not at all sure. I'm starting to kind of understand how it behaves, but it's very weird. It's very weird in a low gravity environment. Oh my goodness, that is craziness. All right, we need that off. You know what, what if we, yeah, what if we did that? What if we turned off the stuff? I think it's easier to manage in not hover mode in a low gravity environment. So we want that and then you guys can magnet up to me. Cool. So then you should from the space station be able to dial home just in case I don't have my matter teleporter thingy, and this should get me back to my home base. Cool! Hey, look who has a space station, y'all. That would be me. All right, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will absolutely come back next time. Uh, filling up the gases. Woohoo! And uh, next episode, we might expand the space station a little bit, but then we have to start working on a warp core, right? Because guess what's next? Other planets. Booyah. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.